This is a very short lesson on damping. We get damping whenever there's some friction in our system. So here we've got a, a vertical oscillator oscillating up and down, but now we've got some friction in the system and that means our total energy is going to decrease. And since our total energy in a mass spring system is a half k times the amplitude squared, that means that our amplitude must be dropping as well. And you can see that in the diagram. Here's our original amplitude and then our amplitude becomes this value and then this value so the amplitude keeps decreasing. What's kind of surprising is that the period is staying fixed. If we look at the time between this peak point and the next peak point which would be one period first oscillation takes exactly the same amount of time as the second oscillation takes the same amount of time as the third oscillation and that's because you might recall that omega is equal to square root of k over m for a mass spring system and you notice that there's no amplitude in that equation that means the amplitude doesn't affect the angular frequency so if of course it can't affect the frequency or the period as well. This situation that we've, we've been talking about is usually referred to as light damping and that's where you have lots of oscillations still taking place and it takes a while for the amplitude to die out. The second situation here that's been drawn is called under damping and when we refer to it as under damping we're thinking of mechanical systems such as shock absorbers where you'd like a very smooth run and you don't you notice that the the oscillation overshoots equilibrium here's equilibrium right here right it overshoots equilibrium and that's the key feature of under damping so you get a little bit of an oscillation before you reach equilibrium so you go over a bump but then you feel another bump because of the oscillation of the shock absorber what you really want from a shock absorber is what's called critical damping key features here. First thing is that there's no overshoot and the other thing is that it this amount of time here that's the least amount of time it could possibly take to get back to equilibrium. So this is the least amount of time to reach equilibrium. And in fact if it took more time than that we call that over damping. If it was like this situation here this would be referred to as over damping. For a shock absorber we don't want over damping because it'll make the car seem really stiff when you go over a bump. You don't want under damping because it's going to feel like you're going over several bumps because of the oscillations. So that's all adjusted by changing the type of fluid that your spring system is in and you want just the right thickness of oil so that you're going to get this critical damping. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.